everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey, talk to you about my love for fabrics, patterns, dressmaking and we have general sewing and live chit chat. So if that sounds of interest to you, please keep on watching. Welcome everybody, this is my slightly late November plans vlog and hopefully it won't be a massively long one because the majority of my November plans all coincide with the wonderful challenge, hashtag gift to November. Now this is being run by Alison from Sew Like Dotty and Adam from Adam Sews. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because I've got my own separate vlog coming out on the 14th of November. So when that comes out you'll be able to see my full November plans because a lot of the things that I will be doing in November will be for that challenge. But there will be other things as well. So what are my plans for November? Well, there were a couple of stragglers from October that have made it into November makes, um, but I'm not going to talk about those too much, to be honest with you. Those things were my Wilder gown that I made in the Cobra Corsage, um, Lady McElroy fabric that I got in my So Hayley Jane box, insert a picture. Um, I finished that up at the beginning of November. Then also my husband's hoodie was a kind of November make. And then also I still haven't finished off my um, friend's dressing gown. So that is now a November plan. So first of all, the first one is, as I said, the Ligon, Ligon robe by Clash Moret, which I am making in a lovely waffle knit, which I think I've shown this so many times. It's this waffle knit from Pound Fabrics, which was £8.50 a metre. It's super soft, in a white, and it's all ready to be cut out. I just got to take the plunge and cut it. And, and the reason why I'm kind of struggling is I'm just undecided what size to make. Um, I think I know what I'm going to go for now. Um, with it being a dressing gown, it's oversized anyway. I know she likes oversized, so I am airing on caution and making it fairly oversized for her. But yeah, it's always difficult when you're making for friends, isn't it? Because you don't want to ask them their measurements because you don't want to kind of spoil the surprise. But yeah, that is my first plan and the one that I've got to get sewn up by the 12th, no, sorry, by the 11th of November. So my next couple of plans all revolve around some fabric that I have been gifted by two wonderful companies. The first couple of fabrics that I'm going to be sewing up were gifted to me by Blooming Fabrics, which is a wonderful little company run by Ivana, and she specialises in jerseys and um, quilting cottons. So the first fabric I will show you is this wonderful khaki and neon leopard print poppy fabric by um yeah it's animal animal skin poppy fabric and it's lovely and soft it's all been washed already i've got two meters of this and i was a bit unsure what to make actually i was going to make the jump up jumpsuit by alice and co patterns but now i've seen it and i'm feeling it i'm thinking i might make the harper cardigan by sinclair patterns which is a free pattern um yeah not sure i uh, I need to just think about it a little bit um but yeah that is all ready to be cut out once i decide what pattern i'm going to make up let me know which one you think but yeah that's that fabric i had my heart set on this jumpsuit um because it seems like a quite a simple sew it does say it needs two and a half meters of fabric but i think with my size my height i would probably get away with it in two so maybe that will be the decider um but then I am thinking it'd be really nice as a nice layering piece as a, you know, because I wear a lot of black leggings, black t-shirts, and then this would be really nice pop of colour um, to go over it. So yeah, I'm a bit undecided, so we'll see. But the other fabric that I got from Blooming Fabrics is one and a half metres of a lovely print for Alice. So I'll just get that. And I have actually cut this out. This is a lovely koala bear print um in like a green grain i did think i shared this on my friday sews and i'm going to make the poppy and jazz maple cardigan and i actually was able to squeeze out because i've cut this out i was actually able to squeeze out the lightning not the lightning leggings the har harem pants by waves and wild as well so that's going to be a super cute little set for her um and yeah it's all cut out and ready to sew up so i can't wait to get that done so they're my two fabrics from Blooming Fabrics, which I will be complete in the month of November. 
please ch check out Blooming Fabrics. They're a lovely online company. I'll put all the details in the notes below. They're just really, really interesting fabrics. They do pre-order as well um, on, a, on a cycle. I'm not sure what that is, um, but yeah, all of the details will be in the notes below. The next couple of fabrics are I'm really excited about. I'm also a brand ambassador now for UK Fabrics Online, which is a new to me fabric company that put out a call out for brand ambassadors. And I really like the idea of how they were doing it. They were gonna set a theme each month around a different type of fabric. And so I applied and was successful, which was great. And um, the first theme for this month is waterproof fabric. Now I've never ever sewn with waterproof fabric before. So we were allowed to choose up to two meters of waterproof fabric off their website. I decided to choose a bag. I've got loads of free bag patterns that I've got with my sewing magazine. And I had a particular one that I liked, which was a rucksack, I'll just show you. It's called the Bristol Backpack. And it's got contrasting colours and then it's got the straps and a buckle. So I got um, half a metre of this lovely burgundy fabric. And also my staple colour khaki. So I thought they'd look really nice together. And then I've got some um, strapping as well to match. And all the buckles and stuff are coming. I've ordered those from Minerva. And then for the lining, I have some cotton in my stash, which is really, really nice. In this kind of golden navy, which I thought would be really nice as a lining. Quite a thick quilting cotton. So, yeah, that is going to be my Bristol backpack. And I'm really excited to make it and um, talk to you about sewing with waterproof fabric. Because, as I say, I've never done it before. And I'm sure... Straight away, I'm thinking I probably need quite a fine needle. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how I get on with that. So that's all cut out and ready to go. Can't wait to um, share that in a vlog. And I'll probably do its own little vlog about it, um, about how I got on with sewing with fabric, how I found the pattern, etc., etc. So that'll be an exciting make. And then the final bit of fabric that I got from them was half a metre of this waterproof canvas fabric. And it's got this really cute animal print all over it. Now, initially, I was going to make Alice a bucket hat, like a waterproof bucket hat. But well, actually, the print's quite large. And since then, I've thought maybe um, I could make her a art smock slash apron because when she's at school, I don't know what they do, but she never seems to have an apron on and she's painting and gluing and stuff. She always comes out with paint all over her. So I thought this would be a really good idea to make a little art smock. So I've seen quite a few um, little um, tutorials and free patterns. So yeah, I'm going to um, make a art smock for Alice because I should have plenty enough fabric there. And on one side, it will be this kind of wipe wipe over white proof fabric and then on the other side I'll, I'll choose a contrasting fabric or maybe some of my fat quarters to match so yeah that's going to be my other um make for um uk fabrics online so yeah really excited to start sewing with some waterproof fabric and um, they've got loads of amazing different fabrics um i did toy with making a jacket because i had some jacket waterproof fabrics but then i thought Let's start off something nice and easy like a bag. <laughs> I might take that back. So yeah, they are my two little makes that I'm going to make for UK Fabrics Online, which I'm excited about. I'll put all the details of UK Fabrics Online below and let you know how I get on with the fabric. But so far, the fabric feels really, really nice. Obviously, I have never used waterproof fabric before, so don't really have anything to compare it to. But let's see how I get on sewing it. The next thing that I need to get sewn up this month is my collaboration that has just been ongoing with Alison from So Like Dotty. Um, we have this fabric from River Island that we both have. Let's pull it out. It's all cut out, ready to go. This fabric here, which is a dead stock from River Island in a lovely, like, oh, it's like a very vibrant yellow with pink on it almost limey yellow is that even a color um and yeah that's all ready to go all cut out i just need to start getting it sewn up 
think because Alison had her foot operation and she's been busy with some of her challenges and pattern tests and stuff, we've just and I've been really busy as well. We've just been moving it on and moving it on, but we will get round to it. And I believe Alison's making the heather blazer with hers. Right. The next big big thing that I'm going to be doing this month and what will be taking up most of my time is my collaboration with Tamlin from Sewing on the Time and Emma from So Do It Emma. We are doing a three collaboration, three person collaboration, and we're doing the Celio top by Closet Core and the Pietra pants by Closet Core. Now, I have got a plans video, which I'll link up here or here, um, where I talk about the fabrics that I'm thinking of using and what my thought process, what view I'm going to be making and if I'm making a toile or not, etc. So if you want to find out about that, please go and check out that vlog and I'll tell you all about it. And also Emma and Tamlin have got their own plans vlogs and we're all doing things quite differently. So please check out their vlogs. That's going to be due um, at the end of November. So watch this space for that. And then the final thing that I'm going to be doing is my little Miss So and So subscription box. I've made the selection at the beginning of the month for the pattern and the fabric and it is a stunner. So I will be making that up. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I do a whole unboxing around it and reveal. But yeah, that will be coming to you hopefully by the end of November too. I should get delivery of the fabric on the 20th. Um, and it will be a fairly simple sew hopefully so it should be done by the end of the month so yeah that is my plans now again um obviously within that i have got my November, gift to november um which i will obviously have a vlog for that as i said on the 14th of november and there's quite a few little gifts in there um that i will be making but they are all fairly um, there's nothing extravagant i'm not making anybody a coat or anything like that so hopefully they will be all simple so that i can get finished and also the gift to november you know the deadline for the challenge is the end of november but these gifts are gifts i'm going to be giving for christmas so i do have into december to do those as well so that is my november plans i thought i was being quite um reserved on my plans but actually as i've gone through them there's quite a lot there isn't there but well it is what it is okay so i hope you've enjoyed my november plans and um hopefully i'll get them done <laughs> but if not they'll just go into december as they always do so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this vlog and if you don't subscribe already please consider subscribing and um, i'll see you all soon thanks for watching happy sewing bye <laughs>